What's up guys, taking a look at some more MLB and NBA player props in today's video on a massive 8-0 run on my one unit plays. Really excited with how things have been going. Let's continue in today's video, coming off a of back-to-back complete mini sweeps in these YouTube videos for no the last two days. Here we go, man. I got one NBA player prop and also one MLB player prop. Got game seven for the NBA today. Let's go ahead and just hop straight in. But where the 8-0 run is, is over on my dub club. My dub club is down in my description below. There's a link down there if you are interested in joining. There's over 1,200 subscribers in my dub club. And how how Dub Club works is it sends my plays to you via Telegram, email, or Discord, and there is one other option coming very, very soon that I will be able to share with you guys. So if you guys want to join Dub Club, the link is down in my description below. Again, 8 0 run the last three days, really just on the one unit main plays. And there's also more plays than that just on top of that. So there's tons of plays going on in my Discord, but also you can also get them through email and things like that if you're not on Discord. So if you guys want to join Dub Club, the link is down in my description below. How my plays work is that they come to you ranked by confidence level and with ripes to go with all of my main plays. Plays. So if you are interested, link is down in my description below. Again, 8-0 run on one unit plays. And with that being said, go also give me a follow on Twitter. Sometimes I run some discount codes. Sometimes I do small little giveaways. Just did a giveaway yesterday. If things either are going really, really bad or really, really good, I typically just do like a small giveaway a couple times a month. So if you are interested, DUMG props, you guys can go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter and also some other free plays there as well. Link is also down in my description for that. And final thing, if you're not already on prize picks and want to join, you can use promo code DUMG. That can get you a first time deposit match up to $100. Link is in my description. Let's go ahead though and hop straight in. Let's start off with the NBA in the game seven. Let's go with the game seven for the NBA. And I'm going to go with the assist category here. I'm going with James Harden. I like James Harden over eight and a half assists here. I do think his points plus assists is also pretty solid. I think both are pretty solid spots for him. Uh, he should be playing a crap ton of minutes in this game. 29 and a half I think is a solid spot as well. I just prefer the eight and a half assists, although I think both are great spots. Maybe if Harden gets bumped to like nine assists, then maybe I'll look into the points plus assists a little bit more but probably I'd, I'd probably play this a little bit less if it was at nine assists uh, to be honest but I'd like him to have nine assists in this game here against Boston for a couple of different reasons so let's hop in and explain why I do like James Harden and his assists here so this game is gonna be against Boston Celtics of course it is game seven he's been playing a massive amount of minutes though he's only not seen 39 plus minutes in one game this series otherwise all the other games in this series he's been playing 39 plus minutes and he's been dominant this season when he does see those minutes you can see what he's done the last four games with his assists by the way nine to 10, 9, and 11 assists in these four games right here. And by the way, that's even 9 assists in a game where he dropped 42 points. So his opportunity to, even if he goes ballistic on points and takes 23 shots, he can still dish the ball out for like 9 assists. So I'm not really super worried with him like maybe trying to shoot more with it being a game 7 and a must-win game. I do think he'll still rack up the assists in this game. Maybe Boston prays pretty hard on Harden as well. So maybe he dishes out the ball a little bit more, but I like Harden's assists here. But if you take a look at his game log when he has 39 plus minutes, he's actually over this in I believe 74% of games this season when he has 39 plus minutes 74 percent so very very damn good i expect him to see those minutes with it being a game seven and i'm also already seeing these minutes in five out of six games in the series and it's coming off of 43 minutes last game and also has had some games already this in this series with 41 and 47 minutes so i expect him to see really big time minutes in this game here and he's been very very good when he does see those minutes so i like the spot right here for james harden and his assist pretty simple breakdown right there just following the minutes which i've done pretty much all nba playoffs and it's been going really really well for the most part so let's hop in those switch gears over to the mlb let's go over to the mlb here and go with of course my old reliable pitcher fantasy score i love this pitcher fantasy score category it is there's some pretty damn good value on this board i will say and they already bumped it i do still like them under 24 and a half I do. All, I preferred him at 25 and a half. Dub Club got him at 25 and a half under the uh, under this fantasy score right here. 24 and a half, I think, is still is still a solid spot. There is a chance he lands on 25, though. I will say. I'm going to explain though, and you can decide if you want to play this or not. I'd say probably half a unit at 24 and a half fantasy score, not worth the full unit. For example, if you usually play like like $20 on like a two pick power play, what I personally do is just to bump that down to like $10, for example, uh, just whatever units are. But Miles Michael is here under 24 and a half fantasy score. I'm still going to rock with him in today's video. Although I really did perform under 25 and a half, but I still haven't projected for 23 fantasy score. And I'm going to explain why here. So Miles Michael is here at 24 and a half pitcher fantasy score. It sucks that they just literally put this board up like minutes ago and he's already bumped. So that's uh, really damn annoying. But Miles Michael is here. Let's explain. So we, right now on the DraftKings Sportsbook, if you don't know how, by the way, how pitcher fantasy scores work, if you scroll down here, pitchers, he gets six points for the win, four points for quality start, minus three for earned runs, three points for a strikeout, and one per an out right here. So he is a plus 
140 over four and a half strikeouts. So I'm going to lock him in there for four strikeouts. That would end up putting him at 12 fantasy score right there. 12 fantasy score for his strikeouts right there. If you were to get four strikeouts, he's a minus 190 under that. So we better not cash a 140 a plus 140 prop. Uh, but the big thing here and what is what really is determining here with him being at a uh, bump from 25 and a half fantasy score to 24 and a half is the pitching outs. He is a minus 125 over 16 and a half. The big thing with him being now at 24 and a half fantasy score is that he cannot go over 18 outs. If he gets 18 outs or more, it's going to be really damn hard for him to go over, uh, to, for him to go under 25 and a half fantasy score. It's different with him being at 25 and a half, but minus 125 over 16 and a half. I'm going to give him 17 outs right there. So 17 outs, that would give him 29 fantasy score when combined with the strikeouts. He's a plus 155 for the win. So I'm not going to count the win right there for six points. He's a plus 155 there. But the big thing here is also the earned runs. He gets minus three for earned, for earned runs. He's a minus 125 to go over two and a half. So he's favored over two and a half earned runs, but I'm just going to give him two earned runs. So subtract six from that 29 fantasy score and he gets 23 fantasy score. That is what he will line up on. If he does not get the win, he gets four strikeouts, goes 17 outs. Now this could completely change if he does go 18 outs in this game right here. However, he goes a little bit less than a strikeouts, for example, but has three earned runs or even four earned runs. It's a different story. How my, how Bios Michaelis has been this season though, you can see what he has done. He has not actually landed on that 25 number yet this season. He's actually over only over this in two games so far this season. He's had what, seven starts or something like that? Eight starts already this season. And has only been over this player prop in two games. And that's against Chicago. And that is against the Giants right there. He has been a little bit better as of late, but still has not played the Red Sox so far this season. Red Sox aren't a crazy, crazy good team, but Mike Miles Michaelis has just not been it either. You can see just what he's done with like earned runs and the innings pitch. He has not gone really deep into games. He's been getting cracked, especially early in the season, allowing 10, 9, and 10 hits in these games. It's just been uh, not too pretty for Miles Michaelis really at all this season. So I'm expecting to keep riding with that here. They really don't like his strikeouts. He's been he's been able to have like six strikeouts in a game and still go under this player prop. You can see right what he's done in these like two games right here. And they're projecting him for four strikeouts in this game. They're, like I said, he's a plus 140 over four and a half strikeouts. And he's had, he hasn't been under a four strikeouts in... Uh, He's been under four strikeouts only one time this entire season. So I like the spot a lot here for Miles Michaelis. Just going to keep on going with my method of following DraftKings Sportsbooks and their projection right there. I do still like him under 24 and a half, just not as much as I did 25 and a half. Really sucks that they bumped. I mean, they bumped it like not even 10 minutes after they posted those props to the board. So it is what it is. Uh, but seriously, thank you guys for the support lately on the channel. You guys can subscribe down there, of course. And also, Dub Club link is down in my description below, as well as my Twitter, where I do some giveaways. And uh, just, yeah, just subscribe to the channel. I have those post notifications on, so not miss future videos. Let me know your favorite NBA and also the MLB player props down in the comment section below. You guys can join Prize Picks with link down in my description below and promo code DOMG. 8 0 run on the one unit plays. Join up on the Dub Club. Link is down there in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. Peace out, boys, and thank you guys for watching. Best of luck tonight. Play responsibly.